Greetings St. Paul's Church. Today is Thursday, August 8th. I'm filming this video for tomorrow's weekly video and email. And the daily devotional from ODB, our daily bread, uh, for today, it's, it really made me laugh. It literally made me LOL, laugh out loud. Uh, the title of the devotional is Cleansing Confession. The key verse is James 5.16. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. You confess to God to be forgiven, but you confess to each other so that you may be healed. Two weeks ago in the weekly devotional, uh, I talked about whether you're guilty of sin or if you're guilty of guilt. And this is kind of a part two on that. A lot of people carry around with them such a heavy sense of guilt. And it's like the, that old phrase, like it's like you're carrying baggage that everyone else can see, everyone else can notice. And it's weighing you down. And the reason I said today's devotional is funny is because it, it tells a story of a service that people hire where when you're about to die, you hire this service to come to your funeral and to confess your hidden secrets and sins. Okay, let me repeat that again. That sounds really weird. There are people who feel so guilty about the secrets they kept and the sins they concealed from their loved ones that they hire this service so that when they're dead, the service, someone comes to your funeral and confesses everything that you hire them to confess. That's the part that made me laugh. This is a real service. And it gave an example of a man who won the lottery but didn't tell anybody and for years he pretended he was a successful business person and he hired the service to reveal the truth after he died. Uh, the devotional talks about uh, how many people hired this service to confess uh, the affairs that they had when they were alive. And let's think about this for a moment. People walk around carrying such a great sense of guilt that even after they're dead, they want to set their record straight and, and have this release and be free of that skeleton in their closet. And so I want to challenge you with this verse. Once again, confess your sins to each other so that you may be healed. And it is true, you confess to God to be forgiven, but there's something about confessing your sin to another human being that creates this healing process that helps you to be free, and I really believe it helps you to overcome that sin, to bring that sin out of the darkness and into the light, and to deal with it more head on. And I know that seems like a foreign concept to most of us. Most of us did not grow up Catholic where you go to the confession box and you, you confess your sins to the priest uh, to gain a clear conscience. Most of us didn't have that culture. But the wisdom of the Bible is telling us that if you confess your sins to each other, you will be healed. Let's think about ways we could take steps and baby steps toward this where we can begin to find people that we trust to confess our sins, to hear us out so that we can be healed. Thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you soon.